Hey guys, what's up? Photo Magic here in my first tutorial on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to be showing you a little about clipping masks today. And uh, see, so yeah, I just googled uh, clo clothing, and uh, I just got this girl with a uh, shirt on, and that's uh, whatever, neat design, whatever. But this isn't the original design. I in fact created this shirt with a clipping mask, and this is what it originally looked like. I'm going to be showing you how to change textures today. It's actually quite easy. So uh, I'll just delete all this stuff here and I'll start from scratch. <laughs> okay, and uh, what you want to do is you want to select the shirt like with the last tool tool. Uh, it's probably easier to use the quick selection tool, but what I do is I always save my selections. It's a good habit uh, to get into in case you got to do something else. You just always, always load it back and uh, just get any texture from the internet, whatever. I just Google search textures and just got this image. Um, you want to make sure it's a large image, uh, no smaller than 1024 by 768, I find. Uh, this is a little bit too big, actually, so I just resized it. Um, actually, still is a little bit big, but you want to copy and paste that texture into the image where you want to change the texture to. And uh, I'm just going to resize this a bit, just so I get it to the right size, just so it's over this woman's shirt here, and... Uh, Think okay, just move it over a little bit this way. Ah, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. It's fine like that, anyways. And um, nope, well, I gotta reselect my selection. See, always good to uh, save your selections. Uh, go back into select, uh, load selection, shirt, and okay. So there's my selection again, and you want to copy and paste uh, the shirt, whatever your selection may be, into a new uh, new layer. And when you do that, it's not going to look like there's any difference, but trust me, it's there. See, so just drag it over. See, it's totally different. And now you want to make your uh, texture visible, and you want to right-click it, and go into Create Clipping Mask right there. And see, doesn't that look awesome? No, I'm kidding. It's horrible. So what you want to do to make it more realistic is click uh, right here. And you want to go into overlay, click that, so it gives it more realistic look. So it clips over, gives it more realistic look. You can change the opacity down, whatever. But see, that's basically it, and that's how simple it is. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. See you next time.